love the direct cut function because it allows you to take a stamped image, images printed on paper, something like these journaling tags that you'd need to cut out, or even a stenciled image and cut it out. And you get the choice of whether you want to cut it on the line or with a small outline. So why don't we take these sunflowers and get to cutting? So I'm going to go over to my machine and I've already loaded these sunflowers onto the mat and I'm going to go ahead and scan them in. I want to load my mat and then you can see from my choices here, I'm going to choose the direct cut option. I'm going to press start and the machine is going to pull it in and scan it. That's step one. So once I have my two images there, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and it's gonna show me those outlines. Now I can drag in. So let's say for instance, I wanna cut right on the line. So I'm gonna drag in nice and close to that sunflower. And I'm just using these handles on this big, nice LCD screen. And then I'm gonna be able to choose my margin. Now here it's set to absolutely no outline. So that's gonna cut right on the line. So let's go ahead, we could do that. But you know what else you could do is you can also choose this and you can choose that you want it to be as big an outline as you want, no matter what you do. So why don't we go ahead and cut this one right on the line. And here we go. Let's cut it. Now before I peel that off, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab the other sunflower and I'm gonna set that one so that the distance is a little ways away. And that way you'll be able to see the difference. So here we go, let me increase that as large as I want it. Let's do 08, that seems about right to me. I'm gonna say okay, and easy enough, we're just gonna cut that one out and it takes virtually no time at all to make this happen. Imagine those hours of hand cutting that you used to do. Here you go, so look at that cut. No more having to buy those dies that match the stamps you already have. Now any stamp can easily be cut out. And let me pull out the one that was cut right on the line. Boom, so perfect. There's no way that I could cut as perfectly as that. But you know what? Let's look at one of those pieces of paper that has some printing on it. That's kind of fun and exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab these polka dots. And I'm just gonna load them right into the machine. Load the mat right there. And now, once again, I'm gonna choose scan, direct cut, and let the machine do all the work for me. Okay, there's my design. And I'm gonna go ahead now and choose the polka dots I wanna cut. I could cut the whole sheet. And you will notice that it works better with some high contrast, so some of those yellow circles aren't coming up. Always a good tip and a good thing to remember. So why don't we go and choose a small section of them to cut for now. I think these are gonna be some great embellishments for a scrapbook page. I'm gonna, I can select how big again I want the margin. I think these ones, let's do a tiny margin. And then go ahead, hit OK, and let's cut this bad boy. So here we go. And now that it's done cutting, you can see I have all of these fabulous little circle embellishments just like the ones that I used on my finished scrapbook page. With direct cut, you never have to worry about using scissors for all that fussy cutting or buying dies that match your stamps. You can do it all with the Brother Scan and Cut.